Welcome to the Unity F Mode video tutorials. At this video, I'll show you how to implement footsteps. We will create footsteps event in F Mode, then we will bring that to the Unity game. First of all, import all the footstep sounds into separate folders under Assets tab. Then go to Events tab and create new 3D timeline. Before going further, clear the timeline sheet and bring switch conditions in the event by right click, add parameter sheet, new sheet, choose use labels and name it to footsteps and leave two labels for gravel and grass. Inside gravel and grass segments, create multi instruments for both and fill these with matching footstep sounds we imported under assets tab. Build the project and open the Unity Editor. Unity will pop up a window that says project has been changed and updated. Go to Event Browser under F Mode and check if the Footsteps event exists. Now we can create a player sound script for handling characters individual audio executions and we should refer this script to the main character script and attach it to the same player game object. You can follow the process and copy what I've done, that will be fine. We should decide the execution points or frames of the character animations. So find the animation you wanted to work on which is running at this example. Decide which frame or frames to trigger a certain function and give a name to that function. This name should be the exact same of the function we will define. We will define that play footsteps function inside the player script, not player sounds. Because Animation events check for the same name at the same game object. Main game object has player script and animator. Also, player sounds game object as a child. So, define that function inside the player script and inside the script, we can use player sounds scripts functions. After making that connection between scripts, go to the player sound script and we can start writing fmod events execution code. We need one event reference and one event instance as usual. Posting the event is as same as the previous example, so you can follow the code by that. We are just checking validity of event reference and event instance and start full steps event. Unfortunately, it didn't work, because we posted like it's 2D event, so we are missing 3D specs for it. We can do that in two ways, either by using runtime manager and attaching instance to game object. It basically says here is your 3D position to play. Second method is much wild looking. You set 3D attributes of the footsteps event by sending the 3D position, but it has a bit nifty code. Runtime utils has to convert unity position value to 3D attributes of F mode. So now, we can actually use switch container. 
It is a one-liner code you can simply call set parameter by name from the event. First parameter should be the name of the switch and second one is the position of the switch. At this one, 0 is gravel and 1 is grass. If we had more than 2, that will be followed sequentially. And the last thing is checking the ground by ray casting. This is a simple function that sends the ray to the ground and grabs the material. The material will tell us what we are stepping on. By the material, now we can change the parameter inside that function and call this function before starting the event. Alright, that's it for today. There is no wrong way to do that, either first or second method will work. So if you have any questions or recommendations, please let me know. Till the next time, have a good day.